they are so delicious. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a Target and TJ Maxx haul. I'm very excited. I found some gems. First of all, when you go to Target, there's no way you're not spending more than what you actually went in there for. That's number one. And if you shop at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods, which I'm pretty sure you do if you're watching this video, you know that if you see something that you like, girl or boy, you better snatch it. Okay, you better grab it because if you try to go next time or be like, oh no, it'll be here. I'll go next week. Nine times out of ten, you're not gonna find it again. So I decided to grab everything that I personally liked. Honestly, I found some really great deals. So I'm excited for today's haul. I hope you guys are too. Before we get into today's Target and TJ Maxx haul, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoy these types of videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you would like to see what I got during my little Sunday fun day, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I feel like we should start with Target because it's literally right in front of me. So the first thing that I picked up at Target, you guys, this was so funny. I really wish, is this cracked? Oh no, it's not, it's just scratched. I wish that Kiki was holding because I was vlogging and I wish she was holding the camera so she could have been recording me. When I tell you that when we walked into this Target, the end cap for Frenchie, which is the product that I'm going to show you, which is the name of the product that I'm going to show you. When we walked in, there was an end cap, like an end cap display of Frenchie, and it was pretty much empty. There was barely nothing on there. You guys, it was like tunnel vision. There was one more of the hair and body oil. It was the last thing I was missing to complete my Frenchie collection. I am obsessed. If you love to smell good, you love the smell of cashmere and vanilla, this is going to be for you, okay? These products are so good. So, like I said, this is the brand being Frenchy, and if you guys are not familiar, this is actually Ashley Tisdale's brand. OMG, these products are so good, and I wanted this so bad because I like to mix a body oil in with my body lotion. Every single time I take a shower, I like to use a body oil with a body lotion if you are not doing that if you are not using a body oil girl just start because your skin is going to be so soft super glowy super hydrated it's just amazing so i finally found it the dropper looks a little not the best but Honestly, I don't even care if the dropper ends up coming out. I, I really don't care. I just wanted to have this product in my hands. So this is the Frenchie. This is the Soothe and Comfort Cashmere Vanilla Body and Hair Radiance Oil. It's infused with shea butter and jojoba seed oil. Amazing. I love these products. I have a few of them right in front of me. I decided, you know what, let me just show you guys what I have so that when you go to your local Target, you can find it. These products are phenomenal. So I also have the Frenchie. This is the Cashmere Vanilla. By the way, the Cashmere Vanilla is my personal favorite scent she has quite a few but for me this one is it so this is the soothe and comfort cashmere vanilla milky body lotion i absolutely love 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 like highly recommend definitely get this usually this one is easy to find i feel like there's a lot of stock of the lotion i feel like the two hardest products to get are the body oil and then the spray so this right here is the hair body and linen mist so it's like a three-in-one product you can spray your bed sheets i like to spray my beauty room with it hence why so much is already gone and i have not had this for that long but i ended up picking up two okay they had a whole stock and I was like, mm, you know what, let me get it two at a time. So that way it saves me some time because when I love something, I love it. So you can use this as a body spray, a hair mist, like a hair perfume, and you can use it to obviously spray your sheets and stuff like that. And you guys, it smells so good. Then I also got the same scent, but this is the hand serum. Absolutely love this as well. 10 out of 10. I use it all day, every day. It is so good. I love it. And then another scent that I actually really like, I haven't been using it as much because the vanilla one is my favorite but this one is in the scent solar fleur and it's really nice i really do like it i feel like this one smells more like this one is not as like sweet if you're not into that warm vanilla kind of like brown sugar sweet scent you might like this one a lot more. They're both really nice. I love both of them. But personally, the Cashmere Vanilla is my personal favorite. I also have the Bath Bombs. They're currently in my bathroom, so I'm not going to go grab those. You guys, 10 out of 10. I highly recommend, okay? If you want to smell good, 
if you want your significant other to be like damn what are you wearing get these products because they're amazing okay alrighty so let's move on to the next thing that I got at Target so I was walking through the beauty section of course I did not buy any makeup I was like girl you better not even try it we're not doing that but I seen this brand this was actually the first time I was seeing this specific brand at a Target I don't know if they have it at my local Target because I've never seen it before but this is the brand finery and this is their body mist in the scent magnetic candy this is what it looks like right here you guys when i smelled this i was like oh my goodness this smells so good so i'm gonna put the notes on the screen but i know one of the notes were cotton candy and it smells exactly like that it's really nice and sweet it is oh you guys it just smells so freaking good oh my goodness and i think that the body sprays are 12.99 they must be really popular because at the location that i went to this is the last body spray in this scent and pretty much almost all of them were sold out i tried to smell the other ones they had like a musk they had a peony nothing else really stood out to me but when i smelled this and i feel like you have to really kind of like test it on yourself to see how it works with your body's chemistry obsessed so good it smells delicious and they also have a fragrance to go with it. And the fragrance was super affordable. So this is the same one. This is the Finery Magnetic Candy, but this is the perfume. This is what the box looks like right here. It's so pretty. And like I said, this is also super, super affordable. I think the perfume was $26.99 and the body mist was $12.99. Oh my God, this bottle. This is so cute. I'm definitely displaying this in my room. You guys, I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess this is like kind of like orange, not really yellow, but it's giving me a little bit of yellow, isn't it? Or am I colorblind? I don't know. Anyway, I have been so into yellow. Like my room is giving neutral, cream, gold, and some yellow. I feel like yellow is such a beautiful color. I don't know why I've been into it. I feel like yellow and greenery are just chef's kiss and this bottle is gonna look so damn cute in my beauty room prepare to be sick of me on instagram posting cute little stories with this as my background because this is so cute oh and it smells so good so i'm so happy that i got this let's get into this i think i only got two more things from target so i got a really cute bathing suit so all the bathing suits are out at target and it's actually a one piece and it is super bright the camera's not even picking up the color so it's kind of like one of those bathing suits that kind of go I don't know like the center of your chest is showing a lot more like it kind of shows the center of your chest which is what I was looking for because I have a tattoo like right in the middle of my you know boob area and I wanted a really cute one piece that kind of dipped low enough so that way it's giving skin but it's not too much but like it looks extra sexy because it's gonna show the tattoo so I am very excited to have this i hope that it fits i got mine in an extra small because i'm i'm tiny okay this is from the brand wild fable and this was 32 dollars i hope it fits i got an extra small the small looked big y'all i feel like these run really big so hopefully this fits and then while we're on the discussion of bathing suits and things of those sorts i found this really cute bathing suit cover up you guys kind of see it yeah kind of it's really cute it's a really beautiful green color and when you turn it to the back it has like this really cute opening in the back it's really nice and flowy it's super long this was 28 dollars so not too bad i mean target i feel like for swim wear is pretty pricey so we're gonna get into tj maxx that's pretty much everything that i got from target this is actually a candle so i get all of my candles from home goods tj maxx and marshall's okay you're not gonna find me at bath and body works paying 25 dollars for a candle no ma'am i have passed that era in my life i used to go so hard for bath and body work candles until i discovered the candles at tj maxx you guys they're so good i love the brand sand and fog that's my go-to brand uh, majority of the candles in my home are sand and fog but specifically for the candle that i like to put in my kitchen which i'll show clips of everything hopefully and Anything that I have that's like homey stuff or I feel like I want to show you guys up close I will share a clip but I seen this one and I wanted to get it so I'm basically redoing my kitchen and I'm going for like a sage green color for appliances and things like that you guys will see in an upcoming vlog but I seen this candle and I was like it matches perfectly it's definitely the vibe so this is from the brand the market and this is their wild mint and eucalyptus candle mm, it smells so good it's actually a soy blend candle this is what it looks like right here and you guys can see what i mean right the color is so 
pretty. It's so beautiful. I love this color green, especially in the kitchen. And then the lid is a really cute bamboo lid. You guys already know how I feel about the whole bamboo vibe. Super into it. So I got that candle for the kitchen. Next, I was looking for these. And I don't know if I'm going to keep these yet because I'm not sure if I like these mini ones or if I want they really or if I want the really cute tall one. So these right here are grinders, like grinders for your salt and pepper. And this came in a two pack and it was $14.99. And I was like, wow, for the price, that's a really, really great deal. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get it. Really cute. And like I said, I'm changing up the kitchen. So I thought this was really cute. And to be honest, these are pretty pricey. I looked on Amazon and I was like, wow, those are expensive, okay? So when I found this two pack, well actually Kiki spotted it. She was like, look, these look so cute. And I was like, oh my God, those are really cute. And for $14, I couldn't beat it so I got that so then I end up seeing this near the candles and like I said my personal favorite brand from TJ Maxx Marshalls home goods those kind of stores is the brand sand and fog so I was looking at the candles and I was like oh my gosh this is a sand and fog diffuser so the scent of this is cardamom and saddle I don't know how this smells. I didn't even bother smelling it, but it's all good. You know why I got this? Cause it's neutral and it matches my beauty room, okay? That's the only reason why I got it. I'm pretty sure it smells divine. There's no doubt in my mind that it does not smell delicious, but it just matched my room. I'm actually looking at the area. I'm gonna put it right over there. So cute. I'm pretty sure I'll show you guys on Instagram. I am obsessed. Like just with this bottle, I'm gonna be so sad. I haven't even used it yet. And I'm thinking about the fact that I'm gonna be so sad once this finishes like what am i gonna do i'm gonna keep the damn bottle that's what i'm gonna do maybe i'll just refill it with another scent i don't know but so cute and this was only eight dollars so more home stuff this right here is from the brand ray dunn so i'm always posting my tea on my instagram stories and i always get questions about the mugs that i use they are from ray dunn ray dunn has everything i'm literally obsessed with her her brand so freaking good they have pool floaties they have anything and everything you need for the kitchen they have slippers they have you guys you name it they have it they're so damn cute and i needed a new frother because when i initially moved into my apartment where i am now everything was pink in the kitchen so i had a pink frother pink toaster pink keurig i was in the pink era like my beauty room was pink theme before i decided to switch everything and now i've kind of outgrown that I'm not into the pink vibe. I love pink, don't get me wrong. I'm still a pink girly, very much so. But I just wanted a color that was more timeless. So I found this frother and they had it in white. I was gonna get it in white because I was like, Tatanisha, you are so indecisive. Let's think about longevity. If you get it in white, then if you decide to change the kitchen again, you won't have to replace it. But then I looked at the price and I was like, for $8.99, I'll just replace it because this color was so pretty. So it comes in a sage green. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. So here's what it looks like right here. They had a white one, they had a pink one. So cute. Like, I love this. Okay, so I got another home item. And this is going to be a fruit bowl. I did have a silver one when I first moved in and it was nice, but... It just wasn't the vibe. I was like, I want something cuter. I want something more homey. And I ended up seeing this one in TJ Maxx and it is so cute. Tell me this is not the cutest bowl. I already have a spot for it, but to just like store your fruits inside, put some bananas, some oranges, any type of fruits, whatever fruits you like to eat. I also feel like, I don't know if this is a mental thing, but when I have fruits and they're in the refrigerator, I forget about them and they go bad. Unless it's things that have to be in there like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, that kind of thing. But like when it comes to like seeing them outside, like on the counter, I feel like I'm more prone to grab it. If I'm like running out the door, I want a quick snack. I'll probably grab like a banana or a tangerine. So I was like, I want to get this. Also, there's just something about having fresh, colorful fruit on display in your kitchen. Is that just a me thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But this bowl is so damn cute. And it was only $7.99. The only thing that's throwing me off is, not even going to lie, when I grabbed it, I thought the bowl was white with the inside with the really beautiful design. But it's actually like a yellow cream color. So we'll see how it looks. If it looks a little bit off and like it makes my kitchen look dull, then I'm going to return this. But... You guys will see in a vlog if I decide to actually keep this bowl, but I mean, for $7.99, I couldn't beat it. So let's get into some of the things. I'm like falling off my chair. Okay, 
let's get into some of the things that I got for me because I mean why not if it was cute I was gonna get it so I needed a really cute bag for when I go to our pool that we have in the community where we live and I wanted something that was gonna be easy to clean something that would fit important things like if I need to take my laptop because I want to edit by the pool or if I want to take my book so I could read something that was gonna be big enough to hold a towel but still have space in it if I want to take dry clothes to change whatever the case is basically it needed to be big enough and I saw this bag and I thought it was the cutest bag ever. I had seen the little ribbon on it, but then I looked inside and saw I had a pom-pom. Had to get it, immediately put it in the cart. And it's like a plastic um, basket material, but it's easily wipeable. And this was $24.99. You guys, when I went to Target and I was looking at the bathing suits, I went over to the um, section where they have their purses. They had the cutest like basket material bags, like a, a cute little pool or beach bag, $50. Okay, we know Target is bougie. Go to TJ Maxx. They have really cute ones. This one is so adorable. And like I said, they had a smaller size. Of course, every um, TJ Maxx is different, but obsessed. For $24.99, come on now, I had to get it. Now, speaking of bags, I was on my way to the checkout. We were going on the line. I was like, okay, we already got way too much stuff in this cart. We did not come in for all this stuff. And then I glanced over it, and I don't know why, I think it's just because it's springtime. I have been so into pastel colors, I feel like because it's springtime, there are so many pastel purses on the market right now. Like, are you actually freaking kidding? This is so damn cute. I cannot even deal. Oh yeah, I'm obsessed. It has a little coin purse, or you can put your little headphones in there. And honestly, it's a decent sized bag. The only thing that I was like, the only reason why I would have left this is because the hardware is silver. I'm not a silver kind of girl. I'm a gold kind of girl. But damn, this color is so cute. I was like, no, 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 no. Forget the silver. Um, I need that right now. Honestly, I'm going to go to another TJ Maxx to see if it only comes in this color. Because imagine it comes in like a really cute like pastel green and like a pastel pink. That's all I'm missing. I just got to complete the collection. Um, probably never going to find those colors, but... This bag is cute, and you guys can see the price, right? $30. $30, could not pass it up. All right, you guys, we're almost done with this haul. I have a couple more things to show you. So I wanted to show you guys these because it's so funny. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but anytime I'm starving and I'm going into a store, I'm gonna find a snack. And one thing about TJ Maxx is I always find snacks that are so good that I have to literally go on Amazon and buy them by bulk. So these have been my newest obsession. The first time that I tried these, it was just filled with milk chocolate. But when we went to TJ Maxx this time around, they actually didn't have the milk chocolate. They had a white chocolate. So these are from the brand Just the Fun Part. And these are bite-sized waffle cones that are filled with just chocolate. They are delicious. It's a Belgian chocolate, I believe. Yes, it's a Belgian chocolate. So we got the white chocolate filled ones. Normally I get the milk chocolate, but those are so hard to find, but they're delicious. And so we saw the white chocolate. We were like, oh, let's get it. And then we also saw the strawberry white chocolate. You guys, these are delicious. Matter of fact, I'm going to open one so you guys can see. They're definitely bigger, in my opinion, than bite size. Um, these are pretty big. And these were... Where's the price? $4.99, so five bucks for each one. So here's what they look like. It's kind of just like a little waffle cone with the chocolate. Mm. They are so delicious. Okay, so I have one last thing to show you guys that we got at TJ Maxx, and when I tell you, oh my God, I'm literally spitting because my mouth is literally salivating from eating the damn cone. So we were walking through TJ Maxx and I was kind of just browsing. I was actually looking for something that went viral on TikTok. Couldn't find it, so I'm not even gonna tell you guys what it is. But anyways, I'm looking at the aisles. Listen, y'all, when I go into TJ Maxx, my eyes are like this. Like I'm legit like looking everywhere, up and down, through every shelf, behind every crevices, because you never know what you could find. And for the price, you can't beat it. Sometimes things be pricey. Not gonna lie, sometimes I go to TJ Maxx and I'm like, baby, that's overpriced, I'm not paying that. But I found the most beautiful piece for my beauty room. You guys, my beauty room is coming together so well. Oh, actually I have something else I have to show you guys too. This is just, for the price, I can't believe the price I paid for it. They had two black ones and one white one and I was gonna get the black one for my living room area. 
but then I was like damn that white one is so pretty it would look so beautiful in my beauty room so I decided to get the white one and not get the black one you guys look at this are you kidding this is literally so damn cute I cannot even deal so it's like a little silhouette of a woman's body she real curvy okay y'all give it girl you better work come on now so it is so cute it looks a little weird on the camera but i'm going to show you guys a clip of where i decided to put it it's just giving feminism to my room it is so pretty my room is definitely a very like grown woman sexy vibe kind of thing i love stuff like this i actually have a little tiny mini one next to my skincare that is so cute that i got on amazon i actually put this up where it's gonna go yesterday and it looked beautiful like i said i'm gonna put a clip right here so you guys can see it is such a vibe if you like these type of like statue type of decors bomb and she was only 20 bucks 20 bucks that's it only 20 dollars, and it's not super heavy it's really nice and lightweight oh my god i love it we love her she's so cute she brings such like a sophisticated vibe to my room okay all right i have one more thing i have to go grab it i completely forgot about it so give me one second all right you guys let me show you i don't even know how i'm gonna show this on the damn camera because it's huge so this is a weekly planner but like one that goes on the wall how cute okay so it says things to do and obviously it has your days of the week so it has monday through sunday and then at the bottom it has an extra section for notes if you guys can see so cute and it matches my room perfectly it was meant for me it was waiting for me okay that's what i'm gonna believe and it was on clearance for 10 bucks yeah let me show you guys the sign 10 freaking bucks like what um first of all i didn't even have no dry erase markers but it's all good shout out to amazon prime because i went right on amazon and ordered me some dry erase markers i'm so excited you guys know i love all things planning planning for me there's no life without planning because i feel like if i have it written down i will not forget it I don't know how people function without planners. I feel like if I have too much in my head, I can't function. My mood is just absolutely shitty. So I just feel like an organized queen and this is gonna be so beautiful in my room. So I got that. And then for real, for all, these are the last couple things. It's just three of the same things. I actually got these at Target. I forgot to show them because I went and put them in my little plant already. Aren't they so cute? They're little tulips. So these were in, you know, when you go in Target, they have like the dollar, five dollar section right in the entrance of the store. Well, these were one dollar and I was trying to find a way to incorporate a little bit of springness to my coffee table. And I don't know, these days as I get older, I feel like growing up in a hispanic household it was like every holiday we decorate easter valentine's day christmas like whatever it is we're putting a little bit of something in the house and to be honest y'all when you live in an apartment i don't have the room to be buying a whole bunch of easter stuff just to decorate and then having to put it away in a bin and then where am i going to store it it's just it's becoming way too much so actually this year i found myself so busy i didn't even decorate for valentine's day with all the valentine's day stuff i had in february so this has been my way of incorporating some decor for the season without overpowering my home decor because i work real hard on my home decor okay so these are cute little tulips like i said they were one dollar i'll show you guys how i styled them i have this really beautiful vase on my coffee table and i kind of just stuck these in there and it was perfect it brings a little bit of color a little bit of springness and then I have my beautiful bouquet of flowers on my dining table if you guys follow me on Instagram you will have seen that I will post a photo here as well um so yeah that is basically it that is everything that I recently found at Target as well as TJ Maxx this is your sign to go shopping go out take yourself shopping um I don't know about you guys ever since we moved into this apartment I'm just like constantly buying home decor apartment stuff um, of course the beauty products. I love me some beauty products I will keep you guys updated on the Frenchie body oil over on my Instagram So be sure you guys are following me on all my socials. I am active on TikTok, YouTube as well as Instagram So make sure you guys follow me over there on those Let me know down below in the comments if you guys love shopping at these stores as well And if you're gonna go and try to find any of this stuff because I can tell you how many times I see someone's video and I'm like babe we're going to TJ Maxx today. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And of course, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.